I'm accosted by a stranger. This person is not familiar to me. There's a certain immediate animal attraction I cannot deny. They're watching me record my diary, apparently unembarrassed to be eavesdropping on such personal activity. I am imagining them naked. A stranger approaches me, a wandering soul, uncertain, unfocused, but attractive. As always, when I first see someone new, I wonder, will I be their lover? They're watching me record my diary. Are they imagining me naked? All right, you've got it. What now? Do you mind if I finish my entry? Do you want to sit? An asshole has just decided to bother me. I'm going to send them on their way. If they don't get the hint from what I am saying, then I'm going to call Tuba and have them thrown out, which will be good for a little fun. Whatever. Is there something I can do for you? So sit. They're still here. Truly audacious. I'm dialing now. And Tuba's answering. Hello, Big T. It's me and me. I'm in my cubby hole and I'm being bothered by a very attractive loser. Please come and give them the boot. I'm hanging up now. And they're still staring at me, apparently unconcerned. I figure they're extremely stupid or bold as hell. I don't know how long they'll hang in there, but... Oh, that was quick. And please, go away. So sit, let's talk. So what you think? This is a test. Yeah, right. Cooking in a pressure pot. That's as bad as it gets. Well, you passed that test. So I think you're ready for something a little more adventurous. Check this out. Come on, take a chance. Form an opinion. You could do it. What do you think? Good. Give it to me, monkey. Are you joking? That was crap. Absolute, over-the-top garbage. Is that how you figure you're going to get into my pants by gushing over some stupid, crappy lyrics? I was going to give you something good to read, but I don't know now. Jeez. Daddy's little boy. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll give you one more chance. Opinions? Okay, okay, so forget it. Sorry I asked. So what? Nice lyric? Wakey, wakey, Ed. Hey, what are you doing? You've been such a naughty boy. Hey, stop that. I wonder what Vito would think. <laughs> hey, don't you dare show that to Vito. No, oh, stop that. I don't... Come on. No, stop it. You're a party for Just that. turn around oh, for me. Be serious. Come hey, on. You did everything I told no, you no, last no. night. He's going to kill me if he finds out. Oh, just don't... one thing. Just show you're come behind. Come, come on. Get out of Let's here. Let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> Ed would freak if he knew I was showing this around. Don't you love it? Fair enough. I won't pretend that I'm not disappointed. But let's not despair. Maybe you'll get off on this. No, no. No halfway measures. No partial opinions. No hedging of bets. Good. That's what I was looking for. A little erotic enthusiasm. I hope you won't think me too forward. But you want to take a sauna? Yeah, well, maybe. But let's talk about you. What turns your crank? Okay, I'll narrow it down. Who's been cranking you tonight? I'm glad you're following your gut now. That happens to be a quotation from the Eightfold Path by the Buddha, circa about 500 BC. I mean, I like it, but as far as I know, it's never been a heavy metal lyric. I think maybe you're ready for something a little better. Huh. I don't think so. That happens to be the Buddha and it's about 1500 years old. Though I suppose it would make a pretty good lyric as they go. No? No? I'm so seldom refused it's shocking. But hey, I can respect that. So why don't you come dance with me anyway? You've been talking to Vito? I can tell you a thing or two about Vito. He and I go way back. I remember him when he used to be named Ars Longa. <laughs> Here's an intimate glimpse of my dear Vito. The reporter? I like her. She has absolutely no scruples. I think I have something on Miss Flame. Let's see. 
That Riel is half mad, I think. Be very careful with him. I can give you some insight into him if you'd like. Ooh, that Eddie, he's a cutie for sure. Do you want to know what I know about our little Ed? Well, I have a lot of opinions about Vito's little cult. Maybe you're thinking about joining, so I don't want to say anything. But let me just point out that Edom is an anagram for Doomy. And that may be what you're saying when you join, if you know what I mean. Hey, I can take a hint. You've been a lovely diversion, but I think it's time to explore a bit. Maybe see you again later. Hey, Mia. I'm really sorry about last night. I really am. I guess you're just gonna have to forgive me again. <laughs> I've been uh, killing myself on this fashion party idea, and I think it's gonna be great. I have this fabulous concept, and Ed has been working on this literally mind-blowing neural tech stuff. I think I'm gonna do the whole party as a media virus. I'm gonna invite only fashion zombies, and I'm gonna turn them into cult members. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll elaborate on that later. Uh, do me a favor. Erase this after you watch it. Okay. Obsessively yours, V. Well, isn't this boring? Come on, let's dance. No? How about something hot and quiet? Wanna take a sauna? Wrong answer. I'm off. Bye now. What do you say? Want to work up a real sweat? The health club's open. Want to take a sauna? Great. Let's go. Do you fall in love easily? Would you make an exception in my case? I know what you mean. What is love? Everybody talks about it. Nobody really does it, not really. Do you think you could fall in love with me? Me too. Sometimes several times a day. I think maybe it's happening right now. How about you? You're breaking my heart. Was this a mistake? Ooh, you've got me tingling. Shall we explore the sensorium? You're not trying. Was this a mistake? Good, because I like you. I like you a lot. Why don't you get closer? Damn, looks like I made a mistake with you. Sorry. Well, that's easily remedied. I am out of here. It's been distracting. Come on, get closer. Ooh, I see you know how to come to a point. I like that. Mm. Oh, you're such a darling. Let me return the favor. The immersion, it's helical, it's regressive. The DMT is reintegrating with the pyroglutamate to create a kind of elastic envelope that is causing me to blur and tatter around the edges. It's like the shadow of lightning on mica. It's like... Are you trying to get my attention? There's something I want you to read. Tell me what you think.
Ah, yes, I like it. Steamy and still. <laughs>